Hey, what's ah? Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Maui here. Now, a lot of fans have been asking me, you know, me being a bronze floor decent Bobcat player, which is already better than 96% of the decent Bobcat community. Uh, yeah, people have been asking me to make a video giving some PvP tips, specifically on uh, how to rod, how to use the rod efficiently and successfully. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. You think that I don't know anything about PvP, let alone rotting. Well, think again. I don't. So, think again. Just think the same thing again. Obviously, a single player world is where we're gonna get the most rod practice, so, uh, I don't know what this is doing in my inventory. Uh, let's find some blaze rods. Yeah. Okay, let's get our good old blaze rod out, and everybody should know that the most basic, fundamental use for the rod is to make a brewing stand. Now, I know a lot of you PvP noobs are gonna come up to me asking, Oh, wait, I don't know how to make a brewing stand. Haha, <laughs> amateurs. Oh, well, you see, it's simple. You get your blaze rod, and you, uh, I think it's like it's three stone slabs, and... Wait. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Jeez. Okay, yep, yeah, so you just put this three cobblestone down, very simple. Throw on the blaze rod, uh, your potion out, and you... I don't think this is working. Ah, anyway, so you guys are probably wondering how a brewing stand is going to help you in combat in PvP. And the answer to that is simple. Uh, you're first going to brew up a poison potion. And everyone knows how good poison pots are in PvP. Just wait for it to finish brewing and then chug that whole thing yourself. How does this help in combat? Well, think about it. When you're taking all this poison damage, your opponent's gonna underestimate your power. They're gonna think it's an easy fight, so they're gonna start trying less hard, and that's when you scam them real big. You get that cool 200 hit combo outplay insane skill. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of our rod PvP. Hope you guys learned something today. A lot of people ask me, how are you so good at Bed Wars? The reality is that I'm not good at Bed Wars, everyone else just sucks. But if you really want to know some of my strategies, well, I guess I can share them. Uh, I use the see, think, do method. This means, before taking action, I see. I look at what's happening in the current situation. Then, I think. I think about what I should do, taking into consideration everything that's going on. Then, I do. I do what I just think. Simple, right? This is how I man- What? Not calling me a queer! This is how I managed to retain a 2% Bed Wars win rate, and you know you're doing well when you're getting the same win rate as your milk. Now if it helps, you can remember the See, Think, Do strategy as an acronym. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's what I that's what I do with my strategy. And I didn't have to say this, I just had to talk so it could fill up the end of the video clip. Also, I know you guys have been waiting to see my keyboard cam, and I thought, oh uh, yeah, why put off tomorrow what I can do next week? Okay, fine. Uh, this is this is the camera which records my keyboards, my keyboard cam. Cool, right? It's a uh, 144p, 15 FPS, I think. Has two kilobytes of RAM. Has an i9 processor also. So uh, yeah, now you've all seen my keyboard cam. You can't complain about it anymore. Just so you guys get to enjoy more of this <sighs> rare keyboard cam opportunity, I'll just run this mini Bed Wars montage. Oh, yeah. Real cool times, I think. You get to see my keyboard cam, my PvP skills, and my see thing to do strategy in live action. Wow, Ethan, great move. Keep it up. What? That was some montage. I just stole H3H2's outro music. <laughs> was it with a pink filter? Looks like a bad anime. Man. Ah. <laughs> Uh, music You can tell how much effort here is. We 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 we